Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Guinnesians out there in Gwinnett Atlanta and all of you around the world listen to the sound of my voice. It is a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County, 57 degrees, going up to a high of 70 with no chance of rain right now in the forecast. Late on tonight, though, 10% chance late on tonight, overnight. But right now, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Hope you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I did. I had a, I went to the circus yesterday. I went to the circus, y'all, and I saw, um, you know, what's so weird, though, because I was expecting a circus, like a real, it wasn't a real circus, not, not really, it was more, it was more of performing arts, that's what it was, um, it, because they, there were no elephants, there were no tigers, there were no monkeys, it was just a lot of performance, and so, um, I was there for like an hour, and I told my daughter, like, all right, I'm going home, because my butt is hurting, and my back is hurting, and this is not really, like, a really a good circus, so, anyway, took the baby to the circus, she doesn't like noise, y'all. It's the funniest thing. Oh my God, Georgia, you had to hear her. She when they started che- cheering and cl- and, and screaming yeah. and yelling. Oh my God, she's like she started crying. Like noise, noise. She cannot stand noise, which is the oh, weirdest no. thing. And, and Dominique took it to the doctor before to make sure there was nothing wrong with her ears. I was like, no, her ears are fine. But when anything loud comes, oh, she she starts screaming, noise, noise. She can't stand noise. So for the whole time, she was kind of she was sitting there with her fingers in her ears. Oh no! You had to see it, Georgia. It was the funniest thing. Oh, she sat up to do the whole thing with her fingers stuck in her ears, and she just sat there. And I oh. said to Dominique, "Look at her." And she just sat there. She didn't move. The only time she took her finger out of her ears, we um, Dominique pulled them out when they started playing Baby Shark, and then she was fine. They played one <laughs> other song that she actually liked, and when they stopped playing, she put her fingers right back in her ears. She can wow. she cannot stand noise and so and you know it was noisy because it was it was one little boy behind me yeah. and, you know they was doing a little skit and he's like he needs to be fired he was screaming to the top of his lungs I was like oh my god fired my, it was a little skit they was playing and so every time the the, the circus guy tried to like you know play the music like the warden uh-huh. would come out and make him sweep the floor and cut the music off oh my god he was so upset behind me I was like he is so upset isn't he but child. <laughs> I was a little chilly. My back was hurting. My butt was hurting. I was like, all right, I done had enough. Now I'm going home. I was waiting to see the elephants and the tigers, but but they did have some right. horses. You know, I love horses. She saw horses. They had some dogs. That was cute. But pretty much it was like a, I don't know, it was a real circus. It was all right, though. So it was a, it was a fun. I, and I was I had a really busy weekend. I went to the, um they had a, a play downtown Lawrenceville. I went to that. Um I missed, I missed, um, it was something else they had that I missed. Anyway, we went to that for like a few minutes. We only went there and got some popcorn and stuff, and then we left. But the Aurora <laughs> Theater did that. And, I, you know, I'm so glad I got all this artsy stuff. I'm going to be talking about something amazing that happened um, for the Artworks, um, Inc. And I'll talk about that on the other side. But I just had a really good weekend. What about you? What did you do this weekend? Uh, part of it, I hung out with you. That's true. Uh- <laughs> That's true, y'all. <laughs> true. <laughs> We went to the uh, we went to a, a crystal shop I think uh, and uh, it was really cool. Yeah. Um, I got some amazing crystals and things like that. We're gonna work with, but uh, but other than that, I, really I chilled. Honestly, I really chilled. Yesterday I didn't do anything. I I was thinking about you know cleaning up, but <laughs> <laughs> just thought about it. Right? I just thought about that. Right. <laughs> I got to clean up, but in the meantime, I didn't do anything. I really just chilled. I really just enjoyed the day. I really didn't do anything, honestly. And I really think that's what I needed to do, nothing, because I I just could not get myself together. I just couldn't get myself together to do anything. So I I realized I just have to be okay with that, and I've learned to be okay with that. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, you got to. I mean... I, I mean, I did I did a lot yesterday, so I ain't going to even lie. I had to go to Sam's Club because I needed to get some shakes. And so what did I do? I started out the morning. I started out the morning folding up clothes. Then I left and went to Sam's Club. Then I went to the circus. Then by the time I got back right. home, it was like 8.30. I was like, I'm just j- drop dead tired. Right. Then I ate something mm-hmm. that I really didn't mm-hmm. want. So it was like, ugh. So, t- so now I'm hungry. <laughs> Um, but that was, and you know, yes, Sunday is supposed to be my rest day, y'all. That's supposed to be my, oh, I came, I rushed home to do the butterfly squad call and nobody showed up. I'm like, okay, I know it's beautiful spring day, but nobody showed up. 
And I was like, Oh my okay, gosh, I totally forgot about that's that. okay because <laughs> you know, and it's so crazy because I had to make some real hard decisions. I think everybody's pretty busy right now, um, with the butterfly squad. And I was like, You know what? I'm Why gonna I close it. That? I'm gonna, I huh? Huh? I don't know how I forgot that. Usually yeah. I'm pretty good. I know, but that's the, that's the last two uh, sessions. I was like, okay, this is like the third thing. Well, this is actually the third thing that nobody showed up to. I'm like, okay, so I'm feeling kind of crazy, but but I'm not feeling kind of crazy because you know the universe will the universe will, will will show you things you need to know. So for me, after coming from the um after going to the the open mind store in Roswell. You know, mm-hmm. I was like, you know, I'm just gonna let the universe guide me. So I was rushing home from Sam's Club because I'm like, and I was I was annoyed because I supposed to have went early that morning. You know, I'm always I try to do stuff on time, give myself time, mm-hmm. and everything just was like an hour behind. I'm rushing. I couldn't even really shop like I wanted to get to Sam's. There's so many people in Sam's. Like, oh my god, this is crazy. Like you would have been like, you would have just been like, uh, uh-uh, uh, I gotta wow. go. It was just people. It was like lines yeah. down the That's aisle of people. So this is why I don't go grocery shopping, y'all. I am not a grocery shopper. Shoes and clothes all day long. Grocery, absolutely not. And I'm in Sam's Club, and these lines are long, down the aisle long. I'm like, oh, my God. What? It was crazy. It was like they were getting, so my daughter goes, they got the stimulus check. I was like, oh, it was crazy. But anyway, I um I did that, and I'm rushing back home to do the to do the butterfly squad call. And, you know, um nobody showed up. And I'm like, okay, nobody shows up. You know, I'm rushing this Sunday. I could have been still at Sam's with in the, with the people, and yeah, I. Did, but but that was for me to realize that's not where I'm supposed to be. Um, and I and so I sent out a note. So I don't know if you check your email, but it was just pretty much saying like that was the last day for the Butterfly Squad. That's what it was saying. Like this is the last day for the Butterfly Squad. The Butterfly Squad will become something else. And um, you know, and and I felt like you know I gave people options to stay a part of what I'm launching next, or you know they didn't have to, so they had a choice, but. Um, it's different. I don't remember getting that, so just let me know. <laughs> yeah, it probably went That's to your so spam weird. or something, but it, I sent it out yesterday to all the members. Um, but anyway, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to send this out. This is where I am right now. Um, so that was it, but that was it. So yesterday was busy, um, uh, for a Sunday for me. It's supposed to be my relaxation day. I'm going to relax this weekend though, because my husband's on vacation starting Wednesday. And I'm, I'm going to plan things for us to do. He's on vacation for the whole next week. His birthday is next week. So definitely got something planned for that. We're going to be taking him to top. Let's see. We're going, his boss is taking, so it's so, it's so funny, right? Because his boss wants to take us to dinner. And he was like, I don't want to go on with them. I don't want them ragging. I mean, like, listen, you do a lot of work for that company. If your boss want to take you to dinner, let her take you to dinner. So she's taking us to mm-hmm. dinner. Um, we have the, um, we're going to Top Golf one day. I got some other stuff planned for him on his actual birthday. So he has a he has a full little week schedule, like next week and the week after. Well, next week, not the week after. He has a full full schedule kind of next. He got some rest days, which he probably really need to rest anyway. Um, but we're gonna do some stuff this weekend. Mm-hmm. I know we're going to the bacon fest. Okay, so listen, there is a yeah a bacon festival this coming Saturday. Excited. Now, I love bacon. I'm going to have some bacon as soon bacon. as I get out this show. <laughs> There's a bacon festival, y'all, this coming Saturday. You have to go in there and get your tickets. Now, here's the thing. If you don't get your tickets, you won't be able to come inside where they, where they, where they have the actual festival at. I try to do that for the St. Mm-hmm. Patrick's Day Parade. I, I mean, St. Patrick's Day Festival. I missed it. It was sold completely out for all three because uh, they had it broken down into three spots. 12 o'clock, mm-hmm. I think, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock to 2 or something, then 2 to something else, and seven, 6 to 7 or something like that. So it's three different time slots. I missed all of them for St. Patrick's Day, every one of them. And when the Bacon Fest came up, I said, I bet y'all won't miss this. So I, I didn't miss the Bacon Fest. So you may have a chance, you know, you may have a chance to get in there and get it. I don't know. We got our tickets, though, don't we, G? Yep. Yep, again. We'll be eating some bacon. We'll be eating bacon on, on Saturday night. So, <laughs> yes. Yes, that would be us. I tell my husband, I think I got a ticket for you. You don't want to go, whatever. But I'm, I'm going. So, yeah. you know. We're, Me too. I love bacon. He knows that too. Me too. You know? I'm having some right after the show, child. Yes, I am. Which may not be a good thing. We know. I know. We know. I know. Well, you know what? Bacon so, is bacon okay. is not that high in calories. Like, be honest with you. Like, that's one of the things. If you look at the calorie count on bacon, like a slice of bacon is between thirty and sixty calories, depending on the brand. Mm, okay. So just to yeah, keep, just cool. so you know, now and, it's, and it's protein, so that's a good thing. And it's protein. Okay. So my, my omelet is all protein, but what's crazy is I hadn't really calculated the the calories, right? And so something said, mm-hmm. well, calc- and this is just recently, because I eat an omelet like at least once a week, sometimes twice. 
So I said, well, you need to, because I'm just like going off, I'm just, I know too, girl. I was like, something said, girl. you need to calculate the calories in this omelet, right? Girl, when I calculated the calories, it came up to like 662. I was like, <laughs> holy smoke. I had no, so I was putting down 408 calories. Well, I was on like 408, but you know, gee, I like cheese. So it's got like three different kinds of cheeses in it. Oh, yeah. Well, I- <laughs> so something said calculated. So I was 200 calories over what I thought it was. That is so funny. Well, yeah. it's not the eggs, it's the cheese. It's just so less. <laughs> I had two. I had three hundred calories for the bacon, two hundred for the for the eggs, and the, the other was all cheese. I was that's like, all you can eat all day. Yeah, like, well, but you know what? It, it pretty day. much keep, keeps me. It keeps me like because it's all this eggs, so eggs swells me up. It like fills well, me up. Eggs. Like if I eat an omelet like that, I'll be full probably to like if I eat it like when I eat it like now, like eleven o'clock, eleven thirty, I'll be good mm-hmm. until like four o'clock. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. I, I love eggs. You know, it's so funny. My husband yesterday was just talking about that. He said, "We, we he said, I know it's hard for you to give up either one. Which one would you give up?" I was like, "Bacon or eggs?" I was like, "I don't know." Neither. <laughs> it's so bad. Chicken. Like it's so bad. You give up bacon, eggs, or chicken? Chicken. Chicken, exactly. <laughs> chicken. <laughs> I mean, because, you know, eggs, like, it's so funny. I, I know we have to get onto the hard stuff, but, like, yeah. eggs for me was a comfort food when I grew up. Like, I would come home, and I could have an egg sandwich, a scrambled egg sandwich, and I would be so happy. It's just like, if I, if I to this day, literally, I'm even going to tell you about how old I am, but I, I'm up there. But if, if literally, if I if I went and made an egg sandwich, you know, and put some bread on it, some mayonnaise and, and egg, I, I would sit there, and I swear I would feel like I was, like, five or six or seven. Girl, you it's sound like the craziest my father. thing. My father used to like, put mayonnaise eggs. on eggs. Like, who put mayonnaise on eggs? My father used to do that. He used to yeah. put mayonnaise on his eggs. No, only, you... only on the sandwich, though. Like, yeah. if I if I have a scrambled egg outside of, outside of bread, you know what I mean? It's not on the sandwich. Like, I don't put mayonnaise on it. But it has to be mayonnaise on it if I have it in the sandwich. Wow. And I could, I don't, I don't, I don't even have to have bacon, man. Because back then, you know, we didn't eat bacon like that. Because it was too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, mm-mm. But, uh... <laughs> But, you know, I would have an egg sandwich, and when I got old enough and I could cook, that's what I would come home and, and make. Before I have my, before I do my homework, I would come home, and I already knew I was going to have an egg sandwich. And it's the craziest thing. It's like comfort food for me. So that like, was, I love me an egg sandwich. That was grilled <laughs> cheese for me. I love grilled cheese like that. But, you know, my grandmother started yeah. me out like that. She she said, so so they call it hoop cheese. And I know we got to get on with the show, y'all. We're going to get on. Just give me one second. They call it hoop cheese. That's the cheese that got the cheddar cheese with the red the red wax around it. Oh, yeah. They call uh-huh. it hoop uh-huh. cheese. Yeah. And uh, was it hoop or hop? It may be hop cheese. Anyway, I just knew it was cheese. And so she would make me these, the, the best freaking grilled cheeses out there. Cheese, it was to the point some days I didn't want to go to school. I was like, I don't feel good. And I know my mother's going to take it. So I called my grandmother, Grandma. <laughs> So I was like, I know, I don't feel good. Can I go to grandma's house? And she's like, okay. So she would take me to grandma's house. Girl, I would just sit there and watch Bugs Bunny and Popeyes and eat grilled cheese all day long. And, bug, you know, just just eat grilled cheese and watch watch cartoons all day. So I think that's why I get my... Yes, because she used to make the best. Yeah. I, could, I could still taste some grilled cheese, like, right now as I talk about it. That's how yeah. good they used to be, man. She used to make in that cast iron frying pan. Please. Oh, man. And she, you know, those you know the, the tin pans yeah, with the pies come in? All. The tin pans that the pies come yeah. in? She used to make a lot of pies because she, yeah. she could cook. She could she could burn some food, boy. And she would make the, and she would keep all the tin pans. And she would put my grilled cheese in the tin pan and the cheese, you pull it and the cheese is <laughs> coming. Oh, my God. I can just see it right now. Let's get on with the show. Let's get on with the show. Cause I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm just making it worse. All right, y'all. So it's national. And just to, just to stay in the vein of food, today is National Bavarian Crepes Day. So, if you like crepes, it's a crepes day. Yep. So if you like crepes, not crepes, crepes, right. National right. Bavarian Crepe Crepe Day, right? So if you like crepes, go and get you one. Also, it's National Goof Off Day. So we already started that <laughs> off for you guys, goofing <laughs> off about food early in the morning. Some people are like, oh, dude, please, you're making me hungry. I'm making me hungry, y'all. I'm making me hungry. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to go ahead and get on with our Harvest Girls, brought to you by Noted Astrology and Michael Thyssen for today, Monday. March the 27th, eight, what, seven, eight days, nine days, and this month is over. Yeah, it's also yeah. spring, so it's spring. The month is about to be over, all that good stuff. Like, listen, we in the spring, about to be at the end of March, running into April, and we got a beautiful spring day to prove it. Yes. All right, we're going to kick it off like we always do, and that is with Aries. Investments are best left alone today. Your attitude is changing rapidly, and your plate is overloaded. 
You can make money through solid investment plans. All right, listen here. Listen here, Aries. You got some got some solid investment plans. You can make some money, but this, they need to be solid. Need to be solid. All right. Opportunities. I mean, opportunities. Taurus. Opportunities for travel and social, socializing are evident. Involvement in fitness clubs will be conducive to engaging romantic connections. Problem with fire, gas, or oil may cause disruption and annoyance. My nose is stopped up for some cringe reason. All right, listen. You got to go to a fitness club to find love. Ooh, I hope you like fitness. Because here's the thing. You go to a fitness club pretending to like fitness, and you meet that person that love fitness, y'all going to break up. I'm just going to tell you that right off the gate. <laughs> y'all going to break up. So don't go there front and, you know, you know they don't send your representative to the fitness club. And then you find somebody that you really like. And then your representative leaving is just you and that person. And they are fitness fools. They gonna, you going to break up. I'm just telling you right now. So don't waste. If you ain't in the fitness, don't go. Let your representative stay home. Gemini, take care of any pressing uh, health problems. You will be extremely sensual. Okay. Take precautions and don't take any risks. Ask close friends for advice. Yeah, you're going to be extremely sensual today. What is the day for you, Gemini? You're going to be so sensual. You go on you sensual thing, you. Do your thing. Spread it on thick. Cancer, <laughs> try to understand their point of view. You need time to rejuvenate. Try to be fair in your dealings with acquaintances. Fair. Try to be fair. Try to understand. Rejuvenate all that good stuff you can. So you need to rejuvenate. And try to understand somebody else's point of view. Cancers, the cancers that I know, they told me it's only black and white. There's no gray. I was like, that's not true. And if you go through life thinking that you're going to be in a lot of trouble, there's always gray, which means there's other points of views than other than just black and white. So try to understand their point of view today. Okay, just okay, cancer. I know. I know you think everything is black and white. Straight line is not. It's zigzag lines and shades of gray everywhere. Leo, expect problems with settlements that you are trying to resolve. Romance is likely if you can bring yourself to get out with friends. Okay. It's time to reevaluate your own motives and make changes to yourself first. Yeah, romance is likely, but you got to go outside the house. Listen, you got to go hang out with your friends today. Put down the computer. Put down the phone. Hang up the phone. Put down the notebook. Go outside, hang out with your friends. You could get some romance in your life. Listen, spring into romance. I know that's so corny, right? I'm in a corny mood today. <laughs> <laughs> spring into romance. Virgo, don't do something silly just to get back at your mate. You must consider yourself for a change. Keep your ears open, especially to those who care about you. All right, listen, don't, don't do tit for tat. Don't do something just to get back at your mate today, Virgo. That's tit for tat and that's childish. Don't do that. Because it's not going to work out for you. It never does. Tip tat always blow up in your face. I'm just telling you now. I'm just trying to save you some trouble. Because you're going to do tip tat. That's going to turn into something else. It's going to be a mess. Don't do it. All right? All right. All right, listen. I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more of the Harvest Coast. Brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thies. And stay tuned. Time goes by and I wonder. Time goes by and I wonder. Are you and me still the same? Is this love it can feel stolen now and under I know the laughter and the pain Will I ever love again?
songs on this show she's an independent artist and she has she just makes some really good songs and so i but i've never seen i need to go google her and see what she looks like because i love her music like i really do like a lot of the music you hear me play on this show is her and that's one of my favorites right there she got another one called um when i grow old yeah all right welcome back to the show I'm your, it's your girl orgy bell kearney giving you the daily horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer mike thighs i'm gonna pick it up with libra Use your obvious, obvious talents to work with detail and you can come up with something great. Yes, you can have a tendency to spend too much on your home entertainment, home or entertainment. Help an older member with the problem that faces them. Help out an old person today. Sometimes they just need your help, y'all. Sometimes they do. They just need your help. They just need a little hand. Don't be selfish. Help them out. Scorpio. Cultural activities open your eyes to new ways of doing things. Your philanthropic contributions will bring you praise. You will find their philosophies worth exploring. Yes, listen, you will find their philosophies worth exploring. Take a look at it. You know what? You will, You just may be amazed at what you come up with. I'm just telling you. All right, Sagittarius, look at the financial transactions today. Try not to push your philosophies on others. Don't give up what you have until you... Can certainly don't give up what you have until you are certain what you're gonna get. Yeah, it's kind of like don't jump out the firing pan, out the frying pan into the fire. Yeah, <laughs> the grass is always green on the other side. All that glitters ain't gold. All that go together. They all go together. Yeah, just don't give it up until you're certain what you got. And here's the thing: sometimes you need to give up some stuff because some of you you need to give mm-hmm. up without any without any certainty. Just give it up. It's just bad for you. If you don't know what's on the other side, just give it up. Not today, though. That's not for you today. Capricorn, <laughs> travel will be favorable. Competitive games will be your forte. All right. You may find that family members may not be too easy to get along with. Ooh, Cap, I'm sorry for you. Yeah, if they're not, especially if you got to live with them. Ooh, listen, go to your perspective corner and stay there until they until they calm down and they're better and easier to get along with. I'm just saying. Like if they're if they having some issues today, don't let don't let them pull pull you into it. Don't let them pull your energy down. You go into your room, go to your office, wherever your place is in the household, and just stay there until they come out of it out of that mess they're in and that funky mood. Aquarius, you may need a good friend to lean on. You must use discretion when it comes to lending money or making donations. Try to deal with it quickly. Don't dwell on the past regret, regrets. That's a whole lot in there. You may need a good friend to lean on. Thank God if you got one. Because a good friend is always good to have. And you should be a good friend too. It's one thing to be a good friend. It's another thing to have a good friend. It's great when you got both. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Use discretion when lending money or making donations. Right? It's a whole lot of fakers out there right now. Let me tell you, they everywhere. They scamming on everything. So just be careful. And deal with it quickly. 
just on just on dealing dwelling past regrets. Like it's in the past, and nothing you can do about it. Move forward. Keep your face to the to the sunshine and move forward. Spring forward. I know I'm real corny with all the spring jokes, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really corny moves. So spring forward. I think I put that in one. Of, you know, we got a group message that that we send out every morning. It's, it's like 17 of us in the message. And I think I put that on one message yesterday or day before. Spring forward into the day or spring forward into Sunday. I think it was yesterday. I was like, yeah, I've been mm-hmm. real corny about the spring forward um, stuff. Whatever. Last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces. You should be able to make major career gains if you plan your intentions carefully. Leave things as they are for the moment and focus on reaching your highest potential at work. Look into the cost factor, but don't try to get back in yet. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, fish. <laughs> you know, set your intentions. I have, listen, I did my cleanse yesterday. I activated my moldabite. I did all of that. Set your intentions. That's a good thing. Meditate on your intentions. Leave things as they are for right now. And focus on working to reach your highest potential at work or in your business. If you don't, have, if you're like us, you don't have a job, you mm-hmm. got a business. Focus on doing that. Your highest potential in your business. That's where I am right now. That's where you should be. Maybe not. Maybe that's not for you. Maybe it's just for the fish. <laughs> all right, that's all the horoscopes I got for you. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Mike Thais. And now let's get on with our show. But before we do that, we got to bring Georgie up, Georgette up, so she can give you the word. Oh, let me tell y'all something. I was on a um a clubhouse room, right? And I think it was a clubhouse room. It may have been a, a, a conference call or something. But one of the women, she was a journalist, right? So, of course, I'm not a journalist. I don't pretend to be a journalist. I didn't go to school to be a journalist. I just love what I do. And um, and she said, she said, she said she was so she's so hard on herself. Like she all the errors that I make when I'm talking because I'm talking so fast. She said she she probably would die, like she probably just roll over <laughs> and die, because she's a, she's a trained journalist. And so for them, it's about saying things per saying things perfectly. Yeah. You know the right facial expression, correct. grammatically correct. You know all of that good stuff. And it, I said mm-hmm. so. I think I I don't know was I talking because I talked to so many people y'all. I don't know, was I talking to her? I think I was talking to her. And I was like, yeah, if you listen to my show, you probably die. You probably die listening to my <laughs> show. Because I'm like always stumbling over my words. That's because I'm talking. See, if I slow down, which I try to do a lot of times. But I feel like when I slow down, it's kind of boring. So then I don't <laughs> slow down. And then it's like jumbled. So forgive me. I'm a fast talker. Um, I did a conference one time. And my husband went, went, went with, with me to the conference. And he was, because I talk fast, y'all. I really do. So I was up on stage and he was in the back pushing his hand down like slow down girl slow down I'm like <laughs> so then I started sweating cuz I'm like oh my god was I going too fast I do that all the time I can't help it and then a lot of that is when I'm on here talking to you guys it's just me talking fast when I'm on this on the big stage it's me being nervous and it's even faster so just imagine what you mm-hmm. hear Monday yeah. th- Thursday here this is this is good catch me on stage that's why I don't like speaking. And people want me to come and train, and I'm like, oh god, I don't want to do that. Like I don't even, I don't even put my hat hat in the ring anymore about being a pro- even on Zoom. Like I did the um, I did the uh, uh Podfest Global Summit on Zoom, right? Mm-hmm. And I I felt like I had to talk fast because I had 30 minutes flat, and I had this really beautiful presentation. It's like, oh, that's such a beautiful presentation. I was like, I know, but my, in my heart. I, and and I talked fast, and I still ran over time by two minutes. And it's like, okay, I, nobody got to ask me questions or anything, and I talk fast. So, yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. So forgive me if I'm screwing up the words. I want to say something else, but this is a family show. <laughs> forgive me if I'm screwing up the words, if I'm stumbling. I'm not a journalist. I am a podcaster, living her dream as a podcaster. podcaster right. That's what, <laughs> you just love talking. That's it. You know? That's it. I get it. That's it. That's All it. right. Go ahead, I think JJ. It's East Coast thing. Trust me, it's an East Coast thing. Yeah, that's what it is. Maybe that's what it <laughs> we is. We talk fast, man. We talk fast. That's just we we move fast. We talk fast. That's it. Is it that's the East? Is it the north? The north? The north side of the East north Coast? coast. I don't know. I said East Coast because I, I, you know, that's where I'm from. I don't know, but we're on the East I, I Coast. But a lot of people talk a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, they talk fast over there in the north. Yeah, yeah but we up north. I think that's an up north East Coast thing because we're down south now, and I don't, people don't talk like me. 
they they talk a little bit slower. Just a little bit. That kind of southern thing. I got part of that. Well, yeah, I got part, that's of, part of that. I do. Yeah, but you were but you were raised mainly over there, in the other part. Yeah. So I got a lot of that. And yeah, exactly. We just move faster. I mean, that's just how it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we talk right. faster and move faster. We do. So yeah. And people don't mm-hmm. trust us because of that. When I first moved down here, they're like, what you moved down here for? I'm like, seriously, did you did you see how beautiful it is down here? Like, really? <laughs> like, it's gorgeous. Like, that's why we moved yeah. here. It's so funny because my, and I'm, I'm just going to do the word in one minute, but my brother, my brother, like, I've been here eight years. This June will be eight years. And I've been trying to get my brother to come down here every year since I got here because we, we, we have rarely been separated. I know. So we're like little old people. We still like, like the best friends. And, um, <laughs> But he, but he managed to stay in Jersey for like seven years, and he moved down here to end of last year. And I tell y'all, every time I talk to him, he's like, "Boy, I ain't gonna even lie to you. I just love it down here." I was like, "I've been trying to tell you that forever. You'd have missed out on seven years. Like you could have been here." He would fly down like quite often, like two or three times a year. He would fly down here, but he did. He it took him a long time to move here. Now it's like every time I talk to him, like he was over here. Uh, was it Sunday? Yesterday, yeah, he was over here yesterday. Yeah, and he was like, he was like, "Oh, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's I love it down here." I was like, "I told you that." So people ask him, "Why'd you move down here? Like, why not? Did you see that?" Well, let me say this. Let me just say this. I could be a little biased, but Gwinnett County is beautiful. Now I haven't been too many places because I'm a workaholic. I'm gonna get out and discover Georgia lately or later because I was going to Albany, but I never went past Sylvester. I know that's real. <laughs> that's deep down there by Albany, y'all. That's like Sylvester. Yeah, I don't even. I think I went to Sylvester with my uncle Ed. That was a. I was a little girl. Anyway, go ahead, Georgia, with the word. I'd be talking about this stuff all day. Go ahead, give us the word for the week. <laughs> Good morning, all you Cornishes out there. I just look. I, I just want you to know. I just sit here listening to Orchard and I just crack up. So that's. <laughs> Because it's just like it's just like we always have a conversation. Like we talk all the time, either at lunch or something, and it's just the same. And it's just it's it's just an extension of who she is. So I love it. But thank, I mean, you. thank you, G. Love you too. Love you too, sweetie. <laughs> all right, the word of the week. Let's see what word we got. You know, I'm only sitting there being thinking. Okay, I hope whenever the word of the week shows up, you know that I that the universe gives me something, you know, <laughs> inspiring to say because I I just do it on the fly in a way, and so I'm always hoping that you know that I'm blessed with uh, you know the right things to say to you guys um, with with these words. So now, watch she hear the words, she'd be like, "Oh, that's a good one." I know. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're all good. I can't help myself. They're just all good. <laughs> word of the week today is, I literally just said this word. This is so funny. Word of the week is blessed. Oh, blessed. I literally just said that. I hope that I'm blessed with things to share with you about a word. And yeah, and I am. I'm blessed with the word blessed. <laughs> so mm-hmm. the word of the week today is blessed. I am blessed. Yes, I, I am. I am blessed. You are blessed. And I want people to really honor that and really know that, even though I know there's people out there that are struggling that may not feel like they're blessed. But if you wake up every morning and you can make changes and you can say yes, you can say no, you can change how you believe in, I mean, what you believe in things, change your belief around something, you know, move your business forward or your job or your relationship with somebody, you are blessed. You know, I, I, I know people have lost other people, but I look at it this way. We were blessed to know them, and our lives would be so different if they weren't in it. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of times we feel, you know, that it's a, it is a tragedy, it is a, it's a loss, but it's, it's never really truly a loss because you've always you've been blessed by their presence in life. And you were blessed to know them. And trust me, they were blessed to have you in their lives too. You know, I think it's it's a it's a way to to be held in reverence of just you being here is being blessed. Yeah. To me, that's yeah, that's just a really deep word for me. You know, because I don't think that we count our blessings enough, and I don't think sometimes we feel blessed. Mhm. That's true. That's true. You know, it's, it's an old saying. 
Um, they was like, how you doing today? I'm blessed and highly favored and walking in his goodness. That's what old people say. Blessed and highly favored and walking in his goodness. So, um, the word today, JJ, I don't know if you can hear me, but I think you went out. Because we can't hear you. So, I don't know what happened. Could have some tech. Listen, they didn't want her to tell you guys that you're blessed. You are blessed. Like, if you woke up this morning and you was able to walk, talk, hear, smell, taste, touch, and think in your right mind, you blessed. If you got a roof over your head and clothes on your black back, you're blessed. If you got a car to drive and you ain't got to catch the bus, you're blessed. But if you got to catch the bus and you got money to catch the bus, you're blessed. Trust me. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. Somebody woke up and they had no toes. Somebody woke up and they couldn't even get on the bus. So, thank you. Count yourself blessed. You are blessed. G. I think we lost this. I'm going to keep it moving, baby. Um, yeah, we lost y'all. That's some technical. We should come back. Should come back later. Ooh. Right now, we're going to keep it moving. All right, so listen. Today, uh, oh, Lord. In the news on Gwinnett Daily Post, there's a story. And it says, um, former President Donald Trump is going to open up his own social media platform. You know, he got banned from Facebook. He got banned from Twitter. And now he's going to have his own social. It's probably going to be called Trump Media. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised, but he's going to have his own social media platform. And here's a crazy thing. I know that there are a lot of people going to go out there and it's not even crazy. He's a business person at the end of the day. There are going to be a lot of people that join his platform. Um, some going to join him just to see what he's talking about. Others going to join him just to follow what he's talking about. You know, some want to see, um, some want to see what he's going to be talking about and others want to help him move his agenda forward, whatever that may be. But anyway, he's going to be launching his own social media platform. You know, Twitter kicked him off. Um, Facebook kicked him off. And so now he doesn't have one. So, he, but listen, that's what entrepreneurs do. They do their own. They do their own. Like, if you can't find it, let's let's create it. We can't find what we're looking for, um, let's create it. And that's what you're doing. Like, you kick me off, I, I do my own. And I ain't mad at him. Do your thing. Yep. Yep, yep. So he's doing his own thing. Oh Lord, I you know I think about that. Um, and you know my thing is I just hope that he's responsible. But that's a big hope. I, it's a big hope. He had the major. He had the biggest. He had the the most the, the largest position. The, the most what's the word I'm looking for? Most important position in the world. And to me, he he didn't do he didn't do good. He didn't do good about bringing us together as a country. And so I, I would I would hope that he would do good on this platform. Chances are he won't. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys because he's been out of, he hasn't been in the news lately since he can't tweet. You know, I haven't heard anything about anything. Um, yeah. All right. Keep moving. Let's keep moving. So the Gwinnett Board of uh Board of Commissions has approved a hundred and twenty five thousand dollar grant for the nonprofit Artworks Gwinnett Inc. Yep, to develop a master plan that will provide vision, goals, and priorities and strategic direction for the arts in Gwinnett County. That is really so cool. I told y'all on uh, Saturday we went downtown Lawrenceville on the lawn and they, the Aurora Theater had a play out there. And I thought that was pretty cool. It was cold, though, but it was cold. But they still had the play. People were out there, too. They were out there like a lot of people. I thought that was really cool to have a play outside because um, people miss the arts. People love the arts, and the arts are important. Like, I don't care what nobody say, arts are important. But anyway, the Gwinnett County 2040 Unified Plan identifies Gwinnett, keep Gwinnett a preferred place as one of the five things guiding county decisions, said Chairwoman um, Nicole Love Henderson. Um, a thriving arts community attracts tourists and diverse talent, brings about innovation and grows the economy. When we invest in arts, everyone benefits. That is true. When we invest in the arts, everybody benefits. You got people who are, are the artists. You got people who produce the shows. You got people who come out to do that stuff, um, come out to, to see the shows. Um, it, it, everybody wins, and you get entertained, and your and your kids get entertained. There was a lot. There were a lot of people out there Saturday. I was surprised. Um, there were a lot of people, and um, there were the performance was great. It sound like a Broadway play, y'all. Like I heard it because I was sitting kind of back in my car. I took videos. I'm gonna post it on. on I took some videos from the circus. I took some videos from the from the art performance, and so I'm going to post it on the website shortly after I eat breakfast. Um, but I thought it was really cool, you know, and I think that the fact that you're going to have this, um, 
we're going to have this this committee come together and say, you know what, we're going to create this master plan so we can have a thriving a thriving community here, arts community here. Now, here, here's the thing. Lawrenceville is building their art center. Buca has a nice art center. So the arts are good. And I want to get more involved in the arts. I just don't know how because, you know, I can't sing or dance. I used to could dance. Yeah, I used to could dance. Mm-hmm. So anyway, they're looking to get um, more funding um, from community partners as well. So that's going to be a good thing. Anything to make our county better, make it thrive more, make it flourish, make it entertaining is a great thing. Speaking of entertaining, one of our own locals right here, our local Tina Fear, she is in the new uh, Aretha Franklin bio uh, series that's on, on National Grid, Be- Jack- National Grid Geographic Channel. Um, yeah, she's a she's an actress, and she when when Aretha died, she decided she wanted to do a tribute, and they did a tribute to Aretha um, at the Aurora Theater, and tickets sold out. Now she has been slated to be in the new um, series that's on National Geographic Channel that started last night. So that's pretty cool. She's from Lawrenceville. Hoo hoo! Hands up to Lawrenceville. We got talent coming out of this place, baby. Yes, we do. So you can watch the series. It's on the National Ge- Geographic Channel. So my nose stopped up, y'all. That's what now. One reason I'm stumbling right now is because I'm struggling to breathe because, but oh, it's allergy season. Because I'm telling myself, why is my okay? It's allergy season, <laughs> so I'm kind of struggling to breathe right now. So I'm kind of stumbling because I'm trying to breathe and talk to you at the same time because my nose is stopped up. But anyway, um, Tina Fear, she's a, she's a right, she's a resident of Lawrenceville and she's appearing in productions at the Aurora Theater and other theatrical outfits around Atlanta. She um, we'll play the gospel singer Clara Ward in this uh, bio series about Aretha Franklin. So check it out. It started last night. It's a series, so it's got more parts to come. So if you missed last night, I'm sure you can go back and get it on on demand. T.I. also is in this, and also um, Courtney B. Vance is in it as well. So um, David Cross from Arrested Development, they're all in it. So it's probably a really good uh, biopic, and I think it's going to be really, really cool. So check it out. If you got a chance, if if you got the National Geographic channel, check it out. And if you got like the fire stick or something, you probably can go on on, um, on demand and check it out there as well. If you don't have cable, but you got the fire stick, National Geographic probably has a channel on fire stick. Because all of those platforms now, if you don't have cable, you can go online and get all that stuff. So check it out. I think that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to another song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more of the rundown of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Stay tuned. Sure we had fun tonight. You and me felt all right. But it's time, but it's time you pick up your phone. Mm-hmm. You won't be worth my while. Me and you won't work out. Pick it up, pack it up, get a cab and go. It's not your phone, my baby. It's not on you, my baby. I'm just not the right kind of girl for you. You just tell somebody who's loving you You shouldn't call me later Promise it's for the better I'm just not the right kind of girl for you Cause I got a rule I hold on to my heart You with nobody
just the right kind of girl for you You just trust somebody who's loving you You shouldn't call me later Promise it's for the better I'm just not the right kind of girl for you Cause I got a rule I hold on to my heart Down about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So, yeah, so I told y'all a story about um, the superintendent for the Gwinnett School Board, J. Alvin Wilbanks, uh, earlier this, was it this month? Last month, maybe earlier this month, you know, they got a new board in there and they wanted to vote him out. Well, they actually decided to vote him out in his, his last day of being June. So, he had served on the um, board for the, as a superintendent for like 20 something years and the new board of uh, Gwinnett Board of Education, they they said, you know what, he got to go. Here's the thing, though. I still don't know why he's going. And so there's a lot of people who said the same thing. One thing I could say about I don't have children in school, but my nephew's in school here. And one, things that, one of the things that I learned early on moving to Gwinnett County that was that we had a wonderful, wonderful school system. And the awards and accolades that we received was evidence of that. So... Um, I don't know why J. Alvin Wilbanks um, is being fired, but he is being fired. They voted on it narrowly, three to two, and his last day will be um, his contract is due to expire June two, uh, 2022, um, but his last day is going to be in July, July 31st of this year. So he is now going to be not the superintendent anymore. They have to find a new superintendent, so I'm sure the search is going to be on for a new superintendent. And, you know, a lot of people upset about this because they feel like he did a really great job in making sure that we had one of the best school systems in the state of Georgia, probably in most of the country. And so there are a lot of parents that are upset about this saying, listen, this is not right. Like, why would you do this? Why would you put somebody out of the seat who's been doing such a great job? Now, I don't know what it is because I've been trying to figure out what it is, too. I would love to speak to someone from the board who voted to fire him to find out why they voted to fire him. Um, cause I just want to know, like if, if the school system, if it's working and what's wrong with it, but anyway, Everton Blair or Karen Watkins or Therese Johnson, please holler at your girl. Let's get, get, get on the show. Tell us why you guys voted to fire J. Alvin Wilbanks as the superintendent for Gwinnett public schools. I want to know if some other folks want to know, you know, there's, there's one gentleman who said, you know what? You didn't tell us why you didn't give us any reasons. You know, you didn't tell us what the replacement plan was. You didn't tell us who you're vetting. You know, people, parents are upset because we have a great school system. Now, I don't know why, but I'm, I want to know why, you know. Um, so, Karen, Everton, Therese, listen, I'd love to get you on the show to talk about this. But anyway, Javin Wood makes time is up. And, you know, he said, don't, don't, it's almost like don't mourn for me. Um, he's been a business owner for 56 years, and so he has a business to attend to, so he can now go ahead and, you know, here's the thing, y'all. Here's the other thing, too. Like, I'm a strong believer in, 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 in God setting the path for you. His his time is up. Like, what what whatever their reasons were, it had really nothing to do with them in the big scheme of things. It really had more to do with God's plan for us. And I think if we start to look at things that way, it's a little bit more easier to digest. Like, with the passing of my mom and the passing of Marvin, um, my daughter's grandfather, Marvin Hagler, my, and my mother, Evelyn, you know, it's like painful. It's so painful, but God had a plan. And so even though we, we want to keep things the way we want to keep them, that's not the plan. So, you know, he spent a lot, a lot of years in Gwinnett County, um, making sure the education system ran well. His time is up. Time to move on and do something else. God has another plan for him. I don't know what it is. So right now, we can get caught up into the why, 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 but the big why is because God has another plan for him. God has a plan for all the people that's involved. God has a plan for the person replacing him, whoever that person is. That's the plan. You know, it's not our plan. It's really God's plan. Even though we want to talk about it, fight about it, scream about it, it's God's plan. 
And at, at the end of the day, that's what it is. It's not our plan. And I know sometimes we want to take responsibility for our plans, but it's not ours. I just want to let you know that. Anyway, um, the, the, the Duluth Police Department will be hiring three new patrol officers, bringing the total police officers to 90. Yep, so they're looking for new officers. According to the Leith Police Department Public Information Officer Ted Sadowski, patrol officers are responsible for general po- uh, police work involving the protection of life and property and preserving the peace and enforcement of laws, investigation of crime, and performing other police-related assignments and activities on an assigned shift or in an assigned unit. So they're looking for three more officers. At the city's most recent council meeting, officials authorized $273,000 in funding for three new employees' salaries and benefits. Salaries and wages will total $171,000. Group insurance totals $72,900. FICA tax totals $12,000. And retirement contribution pension represents $17,100 of the total. So they're looking for three new officers. So if you are interested in becoming a member of the Gwinnett County and the Duluth Law enforcement, check it out. You can go to Duluth County, uh, the Duluth website for more information, or go to um, go to our police department, Gwinnett County. Go to the county website, Gwinnett.com. You want to be a law enforcement? We need listen. We need good law enforcement officers, fair, good-hearted, about serving the people. Do not go there if you know that's not you. Don't go there if you just want to will. You want to have power. You know you want to be in control. We don't need you. We need good people. If that's your plan, don't go. Because we got enough we got enough nonsense floating around here because of bad cops. We don't need bad cops. We need community-oriented cops, people that care about the community, people who will be joining that force to protect and serve. That's who we need, like for real. So they need three in Duluth, and they're going to hire you. Great salaries. Um, and trust me, for those of you who put your lives on the line for us every day to make sure that we're safe, we appreciate you too. Those who, who go out there and they do nonsense and they are menaced, they should be on the other side of the, the police force, behind the bars on that side, get off. I'm just saying. All right. Um, Brazelton is seeking residents and business owners and operators to apply to join the Downtown Development, uh, uh, the Development Authority Board. Yeah, so Brazelton DDA is an independent authority established for planning, organizing, and finance, financing projects that will... Rev- revitalize and redevelop the community's commercial dis- business district. The authority is made up of seven board members that are appointed by the city council. So they're looking for you. Board members serve as advocates and advisors for the council on issues related to economic growth and development, work to attract business to the downtown area, and provide support to help existing businesses succeed. I need to be on that board. That sounds like something I would love to do. Except I don't live in Brazelton. The DDA actively markets downtown and works with community partners and stakeholders to provide a bridge between the business and residential community. So if you're interested in getting on the board, you can reach out to Amy at a Pinnell at Brazelton.net. That's a, her name is Amy and her email is a, a, the letter a Pinnell P I N N E L L at Brazelton.net a Pinnell at Brazelton.net for more information. They're looking for you. They need you to get on the board. It sounds like a great opportunity. You know, I love all things small business, just like I love podcasting. Yes, I do. I do. All right, listen, I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more of the rundown of what's going on in Internet County. Stay tuned.
back. Welcome back. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you the daily rundown of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So the Gwinnett Stripers um, will be honoring all the frontline worker, workers here in Gwinnett County and surrounding counties by putting their names on their jerseys. Um, and I think that's so cool. I think that's a great thing because there are a lot of people who went to work every day not knowing what was going to happen, not knowing if they were going to go home to their families. They made sure people got fed. They made sure that people got um, got to where they had to go because they had to drive the bus. They made sure that people got the health uh, health care that they need. They made sure that the pharmacies was stacked, was stocked with medicines. You know, there were just a lot of people on the front line who, um, through this whole pandemic, and so the Gwinnett Stripers want to show homage to them by putting their names on their jersey um, at their game that they're going to be playing on May 28th against the Memphis uh, Redbirds at Cool Ray Field in, in, in Gwinnett County in Beaufort. So that game is going to be at 7 p.m. So if you have somebody who is a frontline worker and you want their name to go on the jersey, you got to send that information to them no later than March the 26th. They're taking submissions right now um, through March the 26th. For those of you who don't know, the Gwinnett Stripers are the um, Atlanta Braves um, minor league affiliate. And so they're going to be showing homage to healthcare workers, nurses, food service workers, municipal workers, essential employees um, in Gwinnett and surrounding counties. They're going to put their names on the jerseys of the, the uh, jerseys they're going to be wearing on the May 28th game against the Memphis Redbirds at Cool Ray Field in Buford. And that game is going to be um, at 7 p.m. So, yeah, the jerseys will be auctioned off on the team's website starting on May 27th. So that's my mom's birthday. That's my mom and my aunt. So my grandmother's sister. And she and my mom were really close. Like, they were really close. So um, that's a good thing. You know, if you want to, if you want to, you know somebody who has, um, you know somebody who was on the front line, make sure to get the submissions over to, to the um, uh, Gwinnett Stripers as soon as possible. All right? Go to the website. The website is m m i l b dot com backslash Gwinnett. And you can, you can probably find it on their website. So if you got a frontline worker and you want to show homage to them by putting um, their name on the jerseys, you can do so. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. All right? All right. So that's all I got for today. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and close it out right here. I don't want to keep you any longer. Um, Y'all probably hear my granddaughter knocking on the door. She, she can't read the sign that says live on the air. but So she's knocking right now. She's like, Gia, open the door. So she's two years old, y'all. That's my sweetheart. I call her sugar baby. If you, I say, I said, tell them what Gia call you. She said, sugar baby. That's how she said, like a robot. But anyway, here's my word of inspiration for the day before I go. No duty is more urgent than giving thanks. Ah, let me say that one more time. No duty is more urgent than giving thanks. James Allen said that, and he was right. A prime example of giving thanks is the Gwinnett stri uh, Stripers for showing thanks to our frontline workers. Also, um, just 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 giving thanks in general. I want to you know I want to thank Georgia for coming on this morning, giving us the word of the week. I want to thank God for waking us up this morning and setting us on our way. Just give thanks. Tell somebody today, thank you. Thank you for. Tell somebody thank you for something small that they did, something tiny that they did. You know what I'm saying? Just give thanks, and that could go a long way. You know, sometimes we get we take people for granted. We take situations for granted. You know, let me tell you what COVID has taught us, has taught me. Don't take anything for granted. Not one thing. Not the air you breathe. Not the ground you walk on. Not the food you eat. Not the people you love. Don't take it for granted. That's all I got for you today. Could have been anywhere in the world. You spent the last hour with me, and I appreciate you and love you to life for that. Listen, follow the show. On Facebook, Good Morning Gwinnett. On Instagram, at Good Morning Gwinnett. On Twitter, at GM Gwinnett. Also, be sure to go to Apple Podcasts and find your favorite two episodes and download uh, and give it five stars there. Also, be sure to download the app from the App Store. If you got an Apple phone or an Android phone, there's an app for that in the store. I appreciate you and love you the life of that. And go over to Good Morning Gwinnett website. Click on the shop button and check out my new line, my new spring lines for the apparel that we got for Good Morning Gwinnett. It's cute. It's really cute. I think you're going to like it. So go check it out. Go to goodmorninggwinnett.com. Click on the shop button and look at the new spring line that I got come, that I got out. So just click on one of those shirts over there and buy it. And that's going to help me keep this show going because I love talking to you guys. Yes, with all my stuff going on around me, I still love talking to you guys. With the baby knocking on the door and people people leaving my life, I'm, I still love you guys. And so um, help me stay on the air and keep bringing you this show. If you like me, and you love what I do, 
go over support the show click on the show uh click on the shop page purchase a shirt purchase purchase a mug buy some socks buy a bag whatever you want to buy to support the show i appreciate you and love you for that as well listen stay safe out there remember to tell the people around you that you love them i'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m god willing until next time y'all keep your mask on until next time make it a great day bye now You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.